Welcome to the Jekyll69 channel. date is the 12th of the 2nd, 2014, and this is Hits on Twitter. So a terrible thing has happened yesterday, or recently, is the Chapel Hill shooting, where loads of Muslim children were shot down by terrorists. Loads of people are kicking off about this because the media and the president, Obama, hasn't bothered to say anything or appear to be doing anything. Nobody seems to have been giving it the same amount of press and airtime as they would if it was Americans shot in school. And it's not just the Muslim community getting angry with this, it is the American community as well. So they have primarily flocked to Twitter to show off their anger and dissatisfaction with the way this story is being treated. But of course they are also showing support for the Muslim community. Just because you're Muslim it doesn't make you a terrorist. Because of this the next hit on Twitter is Muslims Lives Matter. Yet again this is also about 50-50 with the Muslim community and the American white community saying how appalling it is that this tragedy has happened at Chapel Hill School. If the killer is Muslim it's terrorism but if the victim is Muslim it's not worth the news story. Uh, there are pictures up here of the candlelight visual for the Chapel Hill last night as you can see. And there's even a worse picture for you. Where was Muslim Lives Matter when this happened? Muslim men and young boys being slaughtered by Muslim savages. That is not a nice picture. We have loads of URLs and pictures and videos that are linked on Twitter for you to find out more about these stories. These links primarily go to YouTube and Facebook and are pictures actually on Twitter that people have uploaded themselves rather than to mainstream media sources and this is why everybody is kicking off about it because there isn't any and that is why the Chapel Hill School and Muslim Lives Matter is trending really strongly in fact it's one of the top worldwide trending trends on Twitter today and over in Britain it's not that much better either Lord Fink is back on Twitter, he was the man who was in charge of the HSBC bank whilst it was helping their clients commit tax evasion and fraud. He has been made a lord and everybody has come out saying how despicable and disgusting it is that he still remains a lord even though if a normal citizen was to do such a thing they'd have to repay back all the money that they had scammed along with spending a jail term, getting a criminal conviction record and many other things and he seems to have breezed it all even though he helped scam the UK out of millions upon millions of pounds. Ed Miliband repeats Lord Fink tax claims outside Parliament but refuses to say he was dodgy. Lord Fink admits vanilla tax avoidance, says that everyone does it at some level. Admits tax avoidance in major climb down and accuses his accuser of major climb down. Lord Fink tax avoidance is normal in British society. No, it's just normal for you and your wealthy chums. So as you can see everybody is really hating towards Lord Fink today and it's definitely something that will not be going away anytime soon for him until he steps down as being a minister. And one of the people that would have been reporting on all these stories but has sorely passed away is Bob Simon from CBS News. If you would like to show your respect to his family and for the work that he did throughout his lifetime. I'm sure a lot of people, journalists and people within the media and journalism industry will sorely miss this great presenter. However, it's not all doom and gloom on Twitter today. No, we have Valentine's Day coming up, which I suppose is a bit doom and gloomy if you're single, and even more doom and gloomy if you're not, and you realise that you have to go out and spend loads of money. But you could save it by somehow avoiding paying your government. Splurge it on our spouts. Sploosh! 
So if you do have a spouse out there that is on Twitter or you would like to show the rest of the world how much they mean to you, then you can do so. However, if you are also single and you would like to show the world just how happy you are at being single and how better off you are generally, then also please do that because you know some people out there are going to be miserable in their relationships, look at you being single and be even feeling worse than you are. So that's a good uplifting thought. And if you're stuck on ideas for what to do for Valentine's Day, maybe you should check out some of the interesting ideas that are on Twitter. And if you are stuck for ideas on what to do for Valentine's Day, maybe you should check out some of the interesting ideas on Twitter, such as zombie songs. So we have Bohemian Corpsody, Shot Through the Head and You're to Blame, You Give Death a Bad Name, Saturday Night's Alright for Biting, Staying Alive, a Saturday Night Fever by the Bee Gees. You Give the Undead a Bad Name. Any Zom Can Fall in Love. <laughs> the first time I ever gnawed your face. And the best one out of the pick of the bunch is Brain Drops Keep Falling Up From My Head. That doesn't mean that my head is falling off. I'm just a zombie, can't you see? That if I went down on you, you'd look like you were dead too. They also have what is love in four words. So maybe you would like to describe how you feel about your spouse or significant other by a quick four word jot down on Twitter for everybody to see, read and have it fulfill their lives with the knowing that you yourself are in love the same as them or you'll be put on their hit list for all the couples that they'll be killing on Valentine's Day because they're single and miserable and bored. So we've got what is love in four words. We have free pizza for everyone, treating animals like humans, seeing your favourite band, inspiring passion in others, strawberries and cream truffles. Resident Evil 4 HD. Now that I can agree with. I bought Lint chocolate. Apt, spot on, and very true. And after Valentine's Day has been and gone, we have the festival season starting up. So best of all tickets are on sale. And if you'd like to know the lineup, who's going and what's happening with best of all this year, then go check out all the gossip and everything else to do with festival on their Twitter festival hashtag. Duran Duran are playing festival this year, along with Rob DeBank, Chemical Brothers, Lily Allen, Future Islands, and many more. So there is a great lineup for festival this year, if you are going. And if you are going, I hope you enjoy it and upload some great videos to YouTube for all the ones that aren't gonna go and probably won't get to see it to at least know what happened there. We also have Park Life coming up. Grace Jones is confirmed to be playing at Park Life, along with Mark Kitchen, Hercules LA, Oliver Dollar, and we have loads of people commenting about how they're looking forward to Park Life this year and how they might be swerving their exams and trying to get out of school during it to go see it. So. It's definitely one to be putting on your festival list. If you haven't got the tickets yet, then go out and get them now. And one group that you might be seeing on the festival circuit this year is Imagine Dragons, who have just done a live lounge on Radio 1, covering the song Blank Space by Taylor Swift. So if you are an Imaginary Dragons fan, which I am, then this is definitely one for you to go check out on the Radio 1 website. And finally, going from Imagine Dragons, a creature that most likely definitely did not exist, we go on to the person that came up with how most of the creatures could have become alive through evolution. Yes, today is Darwin Day. So if you would like to know more about Darwin, or have your two cents or, you know, supply more information and show some more facts and some loving for this great scientist and thinker, then today is the day to do it. And also, if you are on Facebook on the group I Fucking Love Science, you know that there'll be a loads of stuff happening for Darwin Day, along with many of the videos 
that are on YouTube, such as Veritasium and Smarter Every Day. You never know, they might be doing videos for Darwin Day as well. So if you're interested in the sciences and you love Darwin and the theory of evolution, then go show your loving for him on Twitter right now using the hashtag Darwin Day. Today's date has been the 12th of the 10th, 2014. Thank you very much for watching Hits on Twitter on the Jekyll69 channel. Remember to check out the rest of my videos and subscribe to my channel for some more interesting shit. Until next time, take care and keep smiling. This is the Jekyll69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter, film reviews, my life with Android and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment. And until next time, keep your shit interesting. Love is, it's Resident Evil 4 HD.